photoluminescence can be classed as fluorescence or phosphorescence. Fluorescence processes come from a singlet excited state, whereas phosphorescence occurs following intersystem crossing to a triplet state. This means that phosphorescence is a spin forbidden process. Phosphorescence happens on a slower time scale to fluorescence so that the time spent in the excited state is longer, resulting in a longer lifetime. Fluorescence occurs on pico or tens of nanoseconds timescales, but phosphorescence occurs on hundreds of nanoseconds to microseconds, milliseconds, and even on seconds timescales. How do we quantify these lifetimes? Time-correlated single photon counting is the go-to method for fluorescent samples. But TCSPC doesn't have enough range in some cases and will be extremely time-consuming because of the long lifetimes and the one photon per cycle maximum limit. Instead, we can use multi-channel scaling. MCS is ideal for samples with lifetimes longer than 100 nanoseconds due to its lower time resolution. In MCS, we will collect multiple photons per pulse, unlike TCSPC. This will greatly speed up the acquisition time, as you are also not bound by the 5% count limit in TCSPC due to pulse pileup. So how does it work? When the laser is triggered, the system will sweep across the channels, logging how many counts arrive in each channel. The resolution is set before the experiment is run. By selecting a time range and a number of channels, we have the resolution of the measurement. All photons arriving within a channel will be grouped together. Therefore, MCS is not suitable for resolving short fluorescence lifetimes. The computer triggers the excitation source, a pulse laser or flash lamp. It will also start the electronics sweeping through the channels. The sample is excited and emits a number of photons. Multiple photons will arrive at the detector and be recorded into the appropriate time channel, sorted by arrival time. These counts are built up into the phosphorescence decay curve, a histogram of counts against time. Here is an example of a phosphorescent decay. The system can be tail fitted to a single exponential component from the peak of the decay until the point the counts return to the background level. Next time you need to record a long-lived lifetime, try MCS.